If you've ever sampled audio in Logic Pro 10, or any digital audio workstation for that matter, you're probably well aware of audible clicks that become present in the waveform, particularly if you chop up a sample and you want to end up and you want to loop it. You'll typically get clicks right in the transition between the two loops. For example, right here I have just a four bar sample and I wanted to loop it. And so you'll well, let's see if there's any clicks that appear at the transition. I'm going to loop the transition. So I can definitely hear there's some audible clicks that happen at the transition. So this tutorial is going to show you guys how to get rid of these clicks. It sounds challenging and not obvious how to do it, but it's actually very simple. Um, but before we dive into how to do it, it's important to understand what, what these clicks are, what's causing them. A click is a consequence of a discontinuity in the waveform. So an immediate jump in the waveforms and a non-continuous line. So if, since we know that's what it is, we can look for that in the file waveform, in the samples itself. And once we identify it, we could smooth it out to get rid of it. So since we want to look right at that right at this transition point, I'm going to join these two audio files to a single file. I'm going to do this by pressing command J after selecting both of the samples. Logic's going to warn me that it's going to create a new audio file. That's fine. And now you can see that we have one file now. So I'm putting my cursor right here at the area that I believe the clicks are happening right at the transition point. And I'm going to open up the editor by pressing E, or you could click the scissors icon up here. Expand this window so you can see as much as possible. And here you'll see the left and right stereo channels of the audio. But what we want to do is go to File. This shows the individual sample values of the waveform. Now a few things before we dive in. If we want to select our tools, by default, you get the pointer and the move tool. I like to set the, the primary tool to zoom because we're going to need to zoom way into this waveform to find our potential discontinuities causing the clicks. And the secondary tool, I'm going to set to pencil tool. This is what we're going to use to actually smooth out the waveform and get rid of the clicks. To access the secondary tool, you just press the command key, hold it down, and you can see my cursor switches between the two tools. Next is this catch playhead, which we want to disable because we're going to be zoomed in really far and if it starts scrolling, we're going to lose our position. So I'm going to click that to turn it off, but also I'm going to right click it or command click and deselect these two options here, which is catch when starting. We don't want it to catch the playhead ever when we're zoomed in. So I'm going to disable those two so you can see they're now turned off. This is not highlighted. And one more final thing I like to do is change the view because right now by default up here we see the number of samples but that doesn't really tell us where we are in the waveform so I'm going to change the view to bars and beats and now we can see the cursors at bar 5 and it's right here so we know we know where we're at so since we think the clicks since I think the clicks are happening right at this transition I'm going to zoom in I'm going to keep zooming in until we see this transition a little bit more clearly. Now here you can see that there are definitely some discontinuities and this is due to me trimming the audio sample at this point so it immediately cuts off the waveform there. And that's likely what's causing our clicks. So I'm going to zoom in once more and I am seeing um, a spike here, not so much on this end. I'm definitely seeing a large one there. That's probably the main part of the click and also a small one here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to smooth these out by pressing the command key to access the pencil tool. And when these lines come, we're going to just drag them to zero, zero dB. And we're going to continue that past um, the spike. We're going to do that for all three of these that I'm noticing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the waveform in real time as I'm editing these, so that way you can hear the change. 
So I'm going to hold the command key and then I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to kind of follow the path of this waveform, but then when it hits zero, I'm just going to stop at zero and extend it past. Do the same thing here. And finally, up here. So, as you can hear, there's no more audible click on this transition. So, that's a tutorial, guys. Um, you could do this anywhere in the waveform, wherever you hear it, click place the cursor, um, zoom in on that area. You're gonna to need to zoom in pretty far um, and just look for any little spikes, discontinuities, and you may not get it the first time. You may see something you think is a spike. You may smooth it out and it wasn't actually it, but keep your eyes peeled and look for any possible discontinuities because those are what's causing your spikes.